I'm late. It's 6.06, .06 and I wanted to leave the house at 6.05. Wayland's still asleep. He needs a diaper change and an outfit change. I'm dressed. I pumped. I'm going to move all his crap out into the car, and then look at me in my maternity uniform. Like an idiot. Uh, I moved all his stuff. I gotta move all his stuff out to the car. First day of daycare. You don't even know what's about to happen to you, my poor, poor baby. Hi. I love you. Good morning. Let's change our diaper, okay? Okay. We're doing our morning potty on the big potty because I'm sending the little potty to daycare. I ordered another little potty. It's not going to get here until May 25th. Poor Waylon. He has no idea why we're up so early. Waylon's doing a good job. He's in the back. Don't know if you can see him. He's got his little toy. GPS says we'll get there at 6.34. Drop off is at 6.30. I think. Or she starts at 6.30. I don't even know. I don't even know how any of this works. Like, do I have until like 7 to drop him off? Is there like a certain time? I read the handbook. I don't know. So, here we go. Good morning. <coughs> oh, bless you. <coughs> bless you. Good morning. Love you. It's your first big day, buddy. Come on, let's go. It's your first big day. See, I'm going to daycare. I love you. Just remember, Mommy's always right here inside your heart, okay? Okay, don't forget. I'm always with you, okay? Big smile. Mama. There it is. Waylon. No. He's like, it's I'm okay. Done. I want to go see. Waylon. There she is. Okay. it. The little baby's all grown up now. Uh, I feel like an idiot because I think I was the first one here and like I don't know I thought I thought daycare drop off would be like insane like moms everywhere, children everywhere uh, like insane and it just wasn't like that. There was, it seemed like no one was home. I was like, this is weird. Did I go to the wrong one? And I was like, I know I told her I wanted to start going to this location because our daycare, it's a lady that runs it out of her house. And she ended up starting to rent a basement from another lady. So like instead of renting somebody's basement to live out of it, she rents it and like the lady said that she's good to like run the daycare out of there and she did like some modifications and like renovations and stuff to make it like a daycare so that's nice so she has two locations and a couple of employees and she's like child-led she's like Montessori kind of but 
Um, she doesn't say she's Montessori because I think you have to actually be like certified to be Montessori. But anyway, so she's basically like Montessori style uh, learning and stuff. Sorry, this phone is doing that thing, doing a thing. So it's all dark. <clears throat> it looks like no one's home. They have like a blanket blacking out the window. And I'm like, okay, that's good. It's for the safety of the kids, I guess. So no one knows it's a daycare. Um, I guess. And then the trash can is in the walkway, like blocking the door. And I'm like, is this a signal that like the daycare is closed? I don't understand. And so I'm carrying his potty. I'm carrying the diaper bag and the diaper pod and his milk, <clears throat> breast milk thing. <clears throat> and uh I gotta figure out how to get on base from where I'm at and so my arms are full I'm carrying Waylon okay here we go and I'm trying to get in I ring the doorbell and on the door there's a thing that says scan this to begin and like I scan it with my camera like a QR code and it just like takes me to my notes app and just copies the words into my notes app and it doesn't work like it's not like a link so I'm like okay so I call her and I'm like hey uh, the scanny thing isn't working so she opens the door and lets us in and she's like okay so you have to go into the bright wheel app and she's like remember your code and then go to this screen and scan it so I go to scan it and I forgot my code so hopefully I will remember my code. Maybe I can change it. She said I could change it. But yeah, I scanned the thing and checked in and clicked checked in. So And she'll send text messages and updates and stuff. And I told her all about what was in the diaper bag. I feel stupid. I feel like I should have just like said, here you go. Here's the diaper bag. Good luck. Bye. But like I was explaining stuff. I was like, there's cloth wipes in the diaper bag and... I was explaining the bottles, like how there's different bottles because I don't know which one he's going to take and she's asking me like, what's his feeding and sleeping schedule like? I'm like, well, I don't know because we don't normally wake up this early. We normally sleep until 11. She was like, oh wow. So, yeah, we normally wake up at 11, change diaper and get back into the bed and drink milk and go back to sleep sometimes he poops and then wake up and do it again change diaper drink milk take a nap play some games we have like enough time to play some games what road am I on I don't even know what's going on but yeah uh I was like I don't know I don't know what he's gonna do because we've never woken up this early so she said she's gonna do everything on demand and the breast milk was frozen. I told her, I said, this is the milk from when he was like one week old. I told her, I said, I tried to get him to poop before we left the house, but he wouldn't. But I think he actually has to because it's been a couple days. And he keeps having sharts. Every time he farts, a little bit of poop is coming out. I'm like, what are you doing, kid? But I think he's a little constipated. So, yeah. Um, the breast milk is still frozen. I pulled it out of the freezer. And I told her that I'm going to take my test, but I'm going to actually try to reschedule it. I said, if he doesn't take his bottle, call me and I'll come feed him. I said, don't give him formula. She said, okay, deal. She's really nice. She's like really understanding. And she said, she asked me, she's like, do you want all this stuff to stay here in his cubby? Or um, do you want to take it back and forth every day? And I said, you can have all this stuff. The only thing that we need to do every day is the diapers. So I'll take the dirty ones home and bring the clean ones. So I told her, I said, there's a cloth wipe thing in there. If you want to use those. She's like, do you want us to use the cloth wipes? I'm like, yeah, because I don't know if he's going to get a rash from the disposable or not. And then I said, will you let me get a picture of his first day at daycare? And she said, yeah. So I got a little, little bit of footage of that for his first day of daycare. So, um, 
pretty excited for that. Dropped him off and I'm about to be on base now. And uh, I'm probably gonna go to Burger King and get a fully loaded, a fully loaded croissant. It would be nice to have a coffee, but I know the milk that I pump is gonna have that caffeine in it. It's gonna mess them up. So, all right, I will um, update y'all later if I start crying.